So here's the Babyface Pro FS. And with this button layout, it gives you the ability to kind of use the unit without actually having the need of the total mix effects window. This is great for people that need to have mobility or be on the go with the unit, but you may not have access for a laptop or a tablet when you're going uh, about using the interface. The operation of the unit is pretty straightforward. For example, if I want to control the outputs for my channels one and two, I could just select that with the output button here. It's already selected, so it's showing you. Um, but if I wanted to select the uh, volume for my phones, I can hit that button again. And then what it would do is use the rotary encoder to adjust the levels. Same thing with my optical and back to my main headphones. I can also dim the volume if I wanted to using the dim button here. And as you see, the LEDs are showing you that the dim is selected. Uh, similarly, if I want to select my inputs, whether it's channels one and two, I can select those channels from here. I can also select channels three and four or my optical. The difference here with the input is that if I want to adjust the gain settings, I can just select the input, say for channels one and two. And then if I hit select here, you'll notice that there's an LED that comes up at the bottom. That LED is now giving me the ability to increase or decrease the gain. So I can do it from here for channel one. I could do it for here for channel two, or say I have a stereo device or I just wanna control both channels together at the same time. If I hit select one more time, you'll see both LEDs are highlighted and now I can adjust the gain for those. Similarly, I could do the same thing for channels three and four. The optical doesn't have any gain, um, so there's no ability to do that in that setting. Next, we have uh, button A, the set button. By default, this is set for your recall. So you can create like a recall setting for your main output. Uh, for example, say my main outputs right now, if I select output, you'll see my main outputs at the full amount. But say I want to set it to a recall level to about right here. I can go ahead and press the set button for two seconds and the ability to recall it if I want to. Now, if I, if I raise or lower my volume, um, I can just hold the dim button and you'll see now my volume is at that recall state. And I can still use the dim button to dim the volume. The next button is the B button, aka the mix button. Uh, think of this button kind of like total mix on board of the unit. So if I want to create the uh, sub mix for channels one and two or my headphones or my optical, I can do that by hitting the mix button as long as I have the right input channel selected. So for example, right now I'm on inputs one and two and I'm on outputs one and two. Now if I hit the mix button, you'll see this uh, LED selected because that's channel one and I can go ahead and raise the fader for that mix, uh, for that channel. Same thing with channel two. Um, if I wanted to do it for channels three and four, I could do the same thing. Once I select channels three and four, I could hit the mix button again and you'll see which channel I'm on and I can adjust those levels. And that's specifically for channels, uh, the output channels of channels one and two. If I were to do that for say my headphones and I go back to those channels, the level's completely different. And the same can be done for my optical. With that being said, one of the cool features that you have with the Babyface Pro is being able to customize the button functionality on the unit. So say, for example, I want to set up a phantom volt because I know I'm going to be on location. And I'm going to need that phantom power for my mains when I'm recording somebody. Or maybe I want to set up a talkback for uh, me and, and an artist or you know, an engineer and, and someone that's uh, being the talent on the other end there to communicate while they're recording and using the interface. I could set that up with a quick functionality for either uh, buttons A, button B, or my DIM. So to set up the button customization for the Babyface Pro, you just have to go to Total Mix, and from the Total Mix window, go to your options, and you'll see your arc and key command settings. Go ahead and select that. And from here, you'll see a window with all the available options that you can for setting up your uh, buttons on the Babyface Pro or your ARC if you have a USB, ARC USB. So for example, say I wanna set A for my phantom power for channel one, and I'll set uh, the B button for my phantom power channel two. Now that I have that set, all the functionality of everything else still works the same, but now if I'm ready to record, if I hit A, You'll see that my phantom is engaged and it's indicated as the LED on the bottom of my inputs will show. And if I want to turn it off, I can do the same thing. Same thing with B. Basically with the customizations, you can kind of have it preset and stored into the unit. So when you're on location or remote, 
you can go ahead and recall those settings directly from the unit. Another feature is turning the unit from PC mode to class compliant. This is pretty easy to do directly on the unit without having to set it within Total Mix. So for example, all I have to do here is disconnect the power. And if I press and hold the dim and select buttons while powering the unit back on, it'll give you my status. Now it's telling me it's in class compliant mode. If I want to switch that, I can disconnect the USB again, press and hold the dim. Now it's in PC mode, back to where it was.